Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, accompanied by Secretary Arnie Duncan and the National Teacher of the Year, Rebecca Milwaukee.
prospective students have had a chance to film their own adaptations of an old Henry short story. They've worked with a local writer to develop five minute plays, uh, which professional actors then perform. Rebecca's uh, led field trips to the Science Center, to the Aquarium, to Chinatown, uh, even to the great tar pits. Uh, that's a trip you really don't want to lose track of. Anybody.
storage of assets. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to my Burbank School family and the California delegation for coming all this way and for supporting me every step of the way and for cultivating a place where I can do great work with students. Students who are right now taking their state tests. So go Yellow Jackets. Do your best to make us really proud. I know you're going to. Thank you to my parents, Bill and Sue, for coming here today to see a dream come true. My parents are themselves retired public school teachers and they devoted much of their lives to guiding, growing, and loving young people, one of whom was me. I think you did pretty well, don't you? Yeah. To my mother and father-in-law, Tom and Joan, thank you for loving me as one of your own all this time. And most importantly, to my amazing husband, Wayne, and my son, Davis, your love and your laughter and your devotion sustain and complete me. I could not be here today without your love. I love you so much. Thank you. I stand here today with 53 of America's finest educators, the 2012 State Teachers of the Year. <laughs> intelligent, compassionate, hardworking group of professionals you will never meet. And I stand here among them as one of them simply blows me away. Why? Because I am not the best teacher in America. There isn't one. All across this nation there are millions of teachers who do the work that I do and many do it better. But what I do have are the qualities that some of the best teachers have. I have an absolute passion for my work. I have a bottomless well of belief in my students and their potential. I have uh, a thirst for getting better at what I do every single day, and I have a warm and welcoming heart for all students and the unique gifts that they bring to my classroom. But underneath all of that, I have an unshakable understanding that with a strong education, children can do anything they set their minds to. Our children are our future, and that I have a, a hand in guiding and shaping that future compels me to make every minute, every lesson, every moment with them count. All across this nation, millions of teachers just like me are working wonders in their classroom. And to be sure, the challenges that we face are enormous and complex. There are barriers to student success that we didn't create and which are far beyond our control. But despite these burdens, teachers persevere. Every day here in America, teachers with patience and creativity are opening doors for students to reach deep within themselves, to learn more, to, to solve problems, to grow and to nurture their dreams. And that we do this work with conviction, that's not unusual. It isn't even rare. It happens in America's classrooms every day, and I need you to know that. To my fellow educators here today and across this country, I commend you for the magic you continue to make day in and day out in your classrooms. You pull your students in with imaginative lessons, and then you push your students to perform the best they can every single day. The devotion that you show to all of your students will reap a lifetime of benefits, benefits that will continue to strengthen this already exceptional nation. So teachers, I want to say to you, be passionate about your work and your students. Stay curious. Never stop learning and bring the joy of what you know into your classrooms and share it with your students. Set the highest expectations for each and every one of your students, but do me a favor and set an even higher set of goals for yourself. You are a hero to someone and you may not even know it. And if the future depends on your passion, your dedication, your professionalism, we are in remarkably capable hands and it is my honor to represent you. <laughs>